Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Ultimate Skyrim. This is Season 1, Episode 12. So before we set out on our next adventure, there's a couple things I'd like to speak with you about. Um, I recently, just yesterday, returned home from Japan. And I had an absolutely wonderful trip. Uh, many of you guys have been asking me about the progress of the Ultimate Skyrim manual, and I'm happy to say that now that I'm back, I'll be working on that as much as possible to get that to you as quickly as possible. Um, there's a, a couple things that I have planned as well that I'm very excited about. Not super ready to unveil it yet, but uh, I just figured I'd give you an update since many of you have been asking me. Um, obviously, I wasn't able to work on the manual a whole lot while I was on vacation in Japan, but I, I did do a couple things that hopefully will make the, uh, the time even quicker, make it go by even quicker before I can get that manual to you. The full manual will contain all different kinds of fun stuff like instructions on how to play the game and really kind of in-depth readout on like the mechanics and some things that I think you guys would probably like to know if you decide to play Ultimate Skyrim for yourself, but in the interest of time and getting it out to you guys as quickly as possible, the first iteration of the manual will largely just contain instructions on recreating this configuration for your own setup. Um, a couple things I should warn you about, and this is, will be in the manual, it'll have you know far more detailed instructions than anything I'll give you here, but um, Ultimate Skyrim does have pretty hefty system requirements. Um, I've tried to exclude as many visual things from the core installation as possible, but I mean, generally speaking, you're going to have to have a fairly hefty computer in order to run everything um, as well as possible, because there's a lot of script-heavy mods, there's a lot of pretty major changes um, going on in this configuration that uh, you should be mindful of, I think. And uh, I mean, pretty much, oh, and the other thing I wanted to say very quickly is that um, many of you guys left me so many comments over my my trip in japan so many awesome awesome comments that i'm really excited to get to i'm going to be getting to the, uh, all of those later today and reply to all of them as best i can um i just want to say thank you for your continued interest in the series and your participation in the comments what's especially cool is that um a few of you guys really seem to be getting to know each other in the comments and forming this little, I guess, de facto impromptu community. Which, um, as, you know, a very budding YouTuber and as someone who really poured a lot of time and effort into this series, it makes me very happy to see. I really can't describe um, the feeling that, that gives me to see that you guys are enjoying each other's company in the comments as well. I'm very happy to see that. So thank you guys for, once again, for your participation and your time and your interest. I hope that you've been enjoying the series so far. Um, really, it's... There's so much that we haven't done. Um, there's so much, we've really only scratched the surface and I'm happy that you guys have been as interested in um, what we've seen already um, because I know that if this stuff has already kind of wet your whistle, then you're really just gonna be in for a treat once we dig into these mechanics in depth. Um, and well, let's see, where we left off. Oh, in between um, the last episode and this one. What's that? Oh my God, is that a saber cat? Jesus. Oh boy, we might not actually even want to mess around with this. Oh, they got it. Wow, interesting, a black saber cat. You don't see that super often. Well, I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get the uh, the pelts and stuff. That's too valuable to pass up. But um, last we left off, we were going to Winterhold, I believe. I kind of just want to head north because I find the north to be a very interesting place. And I think we're a little bit better equipped now with our um, uh, different equipment and uh, we're better equipped against the weather specifically I should say um, that's gonna be really the stuff that'll get us the weather can be very very dangerous we're not careful anyway in between the last episode and this one I purchased a telescope which is gonna be really really useful for us it's gonna help us um, stay alive I think it's gonna help us scout out locations that we'd like to attack and just make sure that anything that threatens us uh, we have a better chance of seeing it before it sees us which is a uh, pretty important as you guys have seen in um, some of the previous episodes, things can be very dangerous. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop all that stuff. What did I got? I got like a bunch of ingredients. I don't really care about those. And uh, some meat, that's fine for now. Um, I also built a fur tent, which will be useful in the frozen north where there are snowstorms aplenty. Also, I was looking at my boots, my dwarven boots that I got off of someone. Maybe it was Ron the Crow, maybe, no, I think it was someone in Ember Shard Mine. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Don't they look kind of like Ugg boots? They do to me. They're like the Skyrim version of Ugg boots for my uh, my dope set of armor here. I need to stomp off real fast now that I think about it. Oh, I'll grab that Nurn root. Let's go ahead and grab this boy. And uh, we also need to fill up our water skins. That's what I needed to do and get a nice drink of water real fast. What a beautiful day this is, this guy. Hanging out on his little, little uh, bridge here. Hey, guy. 
you eat something? No, I'm good. He doesn't seem very happy. He seems like a sad guy. Maybe he's just enjoying the view. I know I sometimes like to sit and do that. I have kind of a habit of doing that. I hope that um, this doesn't bother any of you guys, but uh, when I play Skyrim, I really try to immerse myself in the world as much as possible. I find it really um, bolsters my own enjoyment. And uh, that just means doing little things that um, I think may not be as interesting to some of you, but I know some of you, especially the Requiem players who follow this series, um, play very similarly. But I really like to, you know, stop and smell the roses. I like to stop and glance at scenery. I like to talk to as many people as possible. Um, I really like to explore different um, uh, towns, like all the different buildings in the towns. Um, hey, guy. What you doing? Um, if you don't move, I'm gonna kill you. Yeah, there you go. Um, I, some of you may have noticed that I have, um, is it simply not? No, it's not. I can't remember the name of the mod that makes it so that all of the, um, buildings no longer have, uh, nameplates on them, so you don't know exactly where you're getting into. It's in the mod configuration list. I can remember if I take a glance at it. But, um, I find that mod to be really cool because I think it's a lot less fun to know exactly where you're heading into. Hey guy, who are you? And where are you going? Who is this? Looks like he's wearing Thieves Guild armor. Where's he going? Alright, well, something caught his fancy. It's like he's scared of me or something. I don't know, maybe he is. Have fun. Alright, let's see here. What a gorgeous day. So we're gonna head north. I'm gonna head to Winterhold and see what kind of adventures await us there. Um, I think on the way to Winterhold, oh, there's a wolf. Should get his pelt. Let's run him down. There we go. Gotcha, my friend. I'm sorry. It was not the most elegant death for you. But um, it is what it is, I suppose. Uh, okay, wolf heart, wolf pelt. Let's see here. Go ahead and drop that stuff off. The leather as well. Oops, no. There we go. Much better. Wolf pelt. Um, the heart I can hold on to. I don't mind. You can always dump off those alchemical ingredients. I've been uh, internally struggling. While I was in Japan, I was thinking about this. But um, I've been internally struggling as to whether or not I should take alchemy. The first point in alchemy. Just because... You know, alchemy and potions are so useful in Requiem, as a Requiem Archer was nice enough to say. So, yes, we'll have to see how I feel about that in the future. Um, the problem is that we need... Oh, look, Cicero. We need a reliable way to heal, which means either alchemy for the vast majority of characters. Um, restoration... The reason that I'm kind of hesitant is because I want to fire off on restoration with this character. I think it'll fit the roleplay much better. But, um... Oh, Jesus Christ. Bottle, stuck here. Stuck! My mother, my poor mother. Unmoving. At rest. But too still. Cicero's so creepy. Oh, poor Cicero is stuck. Can't you see? I was transporting my dear, sweet mother. Well, not her. Her corpse. <laughs> She's quite dead. <laughs> I'm taking mother to I love the way he delivers that line. Crypt, but... <laughs> wagon wheel! Damnedest wagon wheel! It broke. Don't you see? Oh! <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> yes, the kindly stranger can certainly help. Go to the farm, the Lorius farm, just over there, off the road. Talk to Lorius. He has tools. He can help me. But he won't. He refuses. Uh, convince Lorius to fix my wheel. Do that, and poor Cicero will reward you with coin. Gleamy, shiny coin! Alright. Creep. How does he know... Oh. That's how he knows that it's the Lorius farm. I actually just thought about that for a second. Because he just went and attempted to get that person to help him fix it. Alright, let's go. Sure, why not stop and do this little mini quest on the way. But anyway, as I was saying before, healing is obviously a very important consideration to keep in mind. 
Um, and alchemy is a great way to heal yourself for most most characters. But if I'm gonna go restoration eventually, I kind of want to save the perks. But I don't know if I'll be able to. Right, Tyler? Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, for the love of Mara, what now? The little man really needs your help. That's <laughs> the um little man. Tell me something I don't know. Crazy fools already asked me about five times. Seems he's not satisfied with my answer. Why can't he just leave us alone? Why? Yeah. Pay me. You think this is about money? Have you seen the man? He's completely out of his head. A jester here in Skyrim? Ain't been a merry man in these parts for a hundred years. And he's transporting some giant box. Says it's a coffin, and he's going to bury his mother. Mother, my eye. You could have anything in there. War contraband, weapons, skooma. Ain't no way I'm getting involved in any of that. Hmm. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Um. Well, okay, we could play it off as though, because my character's still very young. Um, she could be, this is where we kind of get to decide what her temperament will be like. I think this answer would be a little bit naive. Um, kind, but naive. And this one's a little bit more cynical. I don't know, I kind of imagine her... I think the character's still young enough to where some naivety will be good to introduce. What? And just who in Mara's name are you anyway? Exactly. Hmm? Come here, telling me my business. And for what? To help a, a, a fool? Um... Sorry, whoa, hello. Hey, we did it. I... I... Yes, you're right, you're right. Feller might be nutters, might not. But fact is, he needs help. I turn him away. What kind of a man am I, huh? That's like Look, such. That's uh, not even persuasive at all. And I'm sorry for my unneighborly reaction. If you talk to Cicero, you be sure to tell him I'll be down to help soon. All right, job well done. I love. It's like uh, this is my own personal complaint about uh, Skyrim and Fallout 4, especially, and Fallout 3. Um, like, the dialogue checks are always a little immersion-breaking to me, because they're just so, you know, straightforward and simple. I really like the New Vegas' version of dialogue checks. It's a lot more old-school RPG. Oop, nope. I didn't mean to talk to you. Well, all right, then. All right, I just get, get down off the thing. It's simpler that way. Poor mother! Her home seems so very far! You... you did? He has? <laughs> oh, stranger! You have made Cicero so happy, so jubilant You ever seen this guy before? But more this guy is actually oh, in the, um... Actually, I don't want to spoil it in case there's viewers who don't know who he is. I'll tell you later. Spoiler alert. Gold. That was Tyler I was talking to, not you guys, sorry. And thank you, thank you again! <laughs> Thank you so much. How much gold am I gonna get? You're gonna get me out of dialogue here? There we are. 50 gold. Hey, you know, I suppose that's not a terrible sum for, like, doing literally nothing. All I did was go up there and talk to him. And I got, um, speech skill. Which is important. I guess I'll be on my way then. Nice little detour. Now, onward into the frozen north. But yes, to, uh, ooh, looks, wild horses. Oh, they're so pretty. You can actually ride one of them. There's always a stallion in each um, herd, in each pack, that you can ride. Um, it won't be your horse permanently, but they're pretty fast. They die very easily, so there's that to consider. But, um, you know, if you're in a pinch... Uh-oh. Hey, boy. That bear is uh, not looking friendly. Why don't we just... You know, I bet we could take him out. Do we get ballsy? Oh, where's he going off to? What do you think? Maybe if he gets embroiled in a fight with this horse. Yeah, here we go. Boom. That's how you do it. Alright, got a single hit in. Just have to conserve our stamina. Be careful. Oh, he's coming for us. We can kite him into this guard. Which will help things. Bears are very fast in Ultimate Skyrim. As they should be, I think. Because bears are really fucking fast in the real world. Hey, um, what do you mean someone do something? You're supposed to do something. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Thanks for the help, my friend. Oh, looks like the weather's getting bad. 
Ooh, cave bear too. Cave bear pelt. Oh, we need those, don't we? No, saber cat pelts. Snow saber cat? Something like that. We had a quest for that. Um, mm, I'll take the bear heart. I think I'm okay on raw meat for now. Um, I was thinking a lot when I was in Japan about how best to speed up the early game or to, you know, play it a little bit more efficiently. I think managing carry weight is something that I still need to get better at, even though I kind of design the mechanics. It's a, it's a little bit tricky in the early game figuring out what to pick up and what to save for later and what will be accessible and what won't be in the future. What will be useful enough, you know, to take up the space versus weighing you down. Because no one likes to play that, uh that inventory shuffle game where you're looking for things to drop that like aren't valuable and things of that nature. It's also not really fun to watch for a video series, so I'm going to do my best to kind of keep that kind of stuff to a minimum. Ooh. Hey, guy. It's a nice fire you got going there. Look at this dude. It's a cool outfit he's wearing. Hello. Ooh, he's got four eyes. He's like half troll, half giant. Oh, he is not friendly. Sorry, sorry, I'll keep my distance, a respectful distance. I'm just, just looking, you know? Let's go ahead and see how my um, my weather's doing. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit colder, but uh, I'm okay. If things get too cold, we might have to hold off. What's going on here? Oh, is this a civil war battle in the Wainin Stones? Oh, Thalmor. Oh, an ice raid. Oh god, what it just hit me. Something. Alright. Let's go ahead and take stock here. I just need to check my horse's health. Where are we at? Health 141. Not great. I need to be careful here. Oh, it was a saber cat, I think. Oh, the Thalmor are powerful. Two saber cats. Okay, they're actually gonna lose. I need to get the hell out of here. I think they all did just lose. Oh boy. Time to run, because we cannot outrun saber cats. We have a fast horse, but he's not that fast. She's not that fast, rather. So here's the bandit camp. Um, uh, this is not the best way to take them down, or to even attempt, really. Just want to make sure those saber cats don't come running. Um, I might be able to pass around. Oh, at least the rainstorm seems to have let up. And at the very least, how about this? How about we go ahead and ride up, and then we'll take a look. I also don't like working for free. I would really like to um, get a bounty. It would be really nice if like a bounty applied to these guys. But, uh, you know, beggars can't be choosers. I'm sure there's plenty of awesome loot in there that would probably make the trip worth it. Let's see. And here we go. We're pretty close still. Go ahead, jump off. Whoa, that was weird. <laughs> What the hell? Oh, maybe because I'm on a hill. That's the fast jump feature. There we are. All right, you go ahead and stay right there. My beautiful horse. So let's go ahead and test out the telescope so I can show you guys exactly how that works. So here's the telescope. Obviously, you can see um, farther. The leather telescope is not the best. Um, there's two telescopes that are better than it is. Uh, mainly because of the field of view, like the area around the telescope opening, we can expand so we can get like a wider picture. It's a little bit less um, cumbersome to kind of peruse the entire base. So we've got one guy. Let's go ahead and see what we can see like normally. We got this dude up on the battlement here, one over there, and then one over there. We saw them. So at the very least, we got three. Um, let's see what they're wearing. Leather or uh, light armor, that looks like fur armor, hide armor. She's probably an archer. She's not going to give us much trouble. Um, this guy's wearing what looks like imperial gear. I can't tell what his cuirass is, but he might be light as well. He's definitely got a melee weapon, a two-hand, which won't be a problem. Here's our third. Oh, we got four. Here we are. He's heavy. He looks like he might be tough to take down. And then this boy over here, I can't tell what he's wearing, but his helmet looks light. It looks like fur or hide. Um... Is there anyone else that we can spot? Maybe this way? Maybe down here in the stables? No. And then maybe up on this battlement. I see a boss chest. It's almost worth it just for that alone. I think we might be able to take these guys on. At the very least, I'm going to try. And be a little bit careful. I'm not going to get overzealous. Um, I'm just going to be, you know... I'm gonna be a proper adventurer. 
and uh, play intelligently, hopefully. We have the Scroll of Conjured Familiar, that'll be useful to remember. In case we get overwhelmed, we can hopefully take some pressure off of ourselves. Alright, let's go ahead and give it a shot. There's really no way we're going to be able to sneak in. The other thing is that I can't see this um, entrance. Like, I can't see if there's any enemies in the entrance. We got four that I can see here. So we might be dealing with at least five. If that fourth one down in the courtyard was not someone we had spotted. I don't know if you guys saw that person, but I spotted them right at the end there. Alright, let's go ahead and take it. At least the day is nice and clear, so we can see our targets easily. Um, our stamina is not ideal. Let's see. I do have um, my stews popped, I believe. Let me double check on that. That's not the right button. That is the right button. Let's see, venison stew. So I definitely still have my stamina bonus. Um, fortify weapon damage from the Blessing of Talos. Um, I don't believe that's a whole lot, though, because we haven't really done anything that will further Talos' blessing. Some stone arrows, um, not really useful for the time being. Um, let's just go ahead and gain our stamina back up. How are we doing on potions of um, stamina? Let's see, potion recuperation. We gotta favorite all these things. We got plenty of potions of stamina, we got plenty of healing potions. Um, I think we'll be okay. I think things will be fine. I'm not worried. I'm not not worried, but I'm also not worried. Does that make sense? Okay. Go ahead and gain that stamina back up. And actually, I think I'm going to pop one of those potions before we go into battle. Let's see. Um, potion of Recuperation Fair. Sure. Alright, let's go ahead and pop in here. Alright, who do we got? I hear someone knocking. Oh, someone to the right. I don't like that. We got to get around the other side of this building. So we can take them out. Oh, yeah. Oh, ow. Gotcha. Alright, we might be able to draw some more in here. That's pretty, that must have been a wooden crossbow. Oh, here he is. Gotcha. Man, we barely dodged that uh, second hit. Let's see, anyone up there? Anyone giving us trouble? How about another potion of recuperation? Um, sure, the deficient will do just fine. That'll at least get us back up to top. Oops. Man, I, I'm so bad about that. Accidentally clicking when I don't mean to. It's very dangerous to do. All right, we're going to go ahead and take the high ground first, because that will allow us to get the drop on them instead of the other way around. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, someone's launching arrows at us from over there. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see. This is not a regular doorway. That is a cell doorway. So let's see. We want to close that distance. I'm not super worried about that archer. But, um... Oh. Those sounds. We do need to take him out. Ouch! I think that was in my face. Oh, okay. Here comes the light armor. I'm not super worried about him either. Although I prefer... Oh, we got two archers. That guy's got a crossbow. Okay. In the interest of efficiency, we're going to make sure those wounds are healed. Come on, bring it on then. We'll dance while we got arrows raining down around us. There we go. Oh, I missed. It was a tremendous miss on my part. Bring it then. Oh, good shield arm. Ow. There it is. Man, our armor is pretty decent for early on. We were really going to be able to plow through these guys, I think. Nice miss. All right, you got one more shot. Make it count. Oh, I'm done now. Oh, got him. And one more. He's got a crossbow, and we don't know of what sort because we haven't gotten hit by him yet. Let's go ahead and take what we need real fast. Where'd he go? Let's see. He might run out of arrows pretty quick. I think that's what happened with our... Um, our archer up there. She stopped shooting at me right at the end there. Go and take the septums, maybe a lock pick. Don't need any of the rest of this. Alright, boy. You got one more shot. Make you count. I'll hide over there. Oh, you're done now. 
Get bull rush, son. Oh, not enough to end him. Hey, you got a hit in, though. Withstood three hits. This guy must have had some decent skill. Oh, and look at his, uh, his little dagger attack. Took some of my health off. I think he might have been the most skilled of any of the people we just fought. Let's see, iron ingots. I can always load the, uh, ingrid up with these. Some leather strips. I know I passed some up, up there. Alright, not bad. Pretty easy clearance. What is this? Was this your shield? Bandit. This is kind of cheese in it. Get these septums. I don't know which one of those was the one that I killed. Must have been. Oh, look at all these arrows in the sand. All right. Let's go ahead and loot the rest of these guys. And see what we got. We already looted her, him. Can't remember. Um, and then there was someone over here. Yes. It was those people back at the beginning. Let's go back and get their stuff. Um, sure. Let's go ahead and do that real fast. Let's see what we got. Oh, got a nice well. Oh, looks like it's boarded up. Oh well. Get it? Oh well. That's a pun. That's what they call those. I'm terrible at puns, to be honest. I always do this thing where I'll say things that could be puns um, if I were paying attention, and my girlfriend will always catch them, and I never do. And it's really frustrating, because I wish I were better at puns. It's probably the weakest part of my... Um, oh hey, is that a corpse up there? Of like an adventurer? It looks like there's definitely someone in there. They might even be alive the way that they're standing. Strange. Septum 7. Let's see. Hmm, the rest of this is okay. Maybe some more iron ingots. I can always sell them. Um, oh, so one of you guys in the comments. I haven't replied to this yet. But um, someone was asking me why I don't uh, loot all the arrows and stuff. Because they don't have weight. They actually do have weight in Requiem. It is an option that you can turn on and off, but um, it's one that I remain on. Ooh, look at that blood on the snow. Oh God, Jesus, that is nasty, but also awesome. Anyway, um, I leave the arrow weight on because I think it serves an important purpose. I think it adds to like the fun of managing your carry weight and um, you know deciding what arrows to bring along and how many. And it also creates the uh, situation where you can run out of ammo, which is something that I feel like um, adds a little bit more dynamic, uh, or adds more of a dynamic element to combat, rather. Um, which, it's, uh, it's the contrast against my kind of beliefs with the gold, where I don't like adding weight to the gold. It's because I feel like that ends up being far more tedious than fun. And it's actually good that we cleared these guys out as quickly as we did, because, um, we are starting to get real cold. So I think we're gonna go ahead and take shelter in this bandit fort. Now, we're gonna have to be a little bit more careful here because we're also hungry. So let's go ahead and feed ourselves right up. Got some cooked meat. Um, and we're good on that. And I got, let's see, water skin. We're good. Let's see what's, what awaits us inside this bandit fort. Oh, and actually, looking at my timer, it does seem to be about that time. So let's make sure, oh, there's a guy right there. You know what? We're gonna go ahead and uh, make our attempt at clearing out this fort in the next episode so this will serve as a fun little cliffhanger so as always thank you guys so much for watching i'm really excited to get to all your comments if you've commented on one of the videos in the past 10 days and i haven't gotten to it yet it was just because i was in japan and i fully plan on doing that right now oh my god everyone's like singing weird anyway as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode